Did you know that Amazon might be the world's largest and perhaps longest river, but there isn't a single bridge crossing it? The Amazon River essentially bisects South America, meandering through three countries to the Atlantic Ocean and, according to some calculations, surpassing the Nile as the longest river on Earth. Yet, one cannot walk across it, as not a single bridge has been built over it. The Thames, with its length of 215 miles, is far from being the longest river, even within the United Kingdom, where the Severn River is longer at 220 miles. However, it is possible to cross the Thames at more than 200 different places using various bridges and tunnels. The Danube, Europe's second longest river at 1,771 miles, is spanned by more than 130 bridges, with more soon to be constructed. The Nile, which some calculations consider the world's longest river, has several bridges built over it in Cairo. And the city of Surat in India, known as the City of Bridges, has more than 120 bridges, though relatively few span the Taptai River, with most going over roads and railway tracks. However, there exists a vast river in the world that, despite its size, has not had a single bridge built over it and crossing between its banks is only possible by watercraft. This river is the Amazon, which, according to some calculations, surpasses the Nile as the longest river in the world and is undoubtedly the river with the largest discharge and drainage basin. It snakes through three countries in South America, Peru, Colombia, and Brazil, and with its tributaries and subtributaries, the Amazon system extends into other countries, such as Bolivia and Ecuador, covering nearly 40% of South America, the river's drainage basin is 4.4 million square miles, and it discharges an average of 219,000 cubic meters of water per second into the Atlantic Ocean, enough to fill 88 Olympic swimming pools, with the amount increasing during the rainy season. There is ongoing debate among experts about whether the Nile or the Amazon is the Earth's longest river. Some estimates put the Nile at 4,400 miles. While the Amazon is measured at 4,000 miles, but others estimate the latter's length at 4,300 miles. Clarifying this question is complicated by the fact that the starting points of both rivers are in hard-to-reach terrains. The Niles, specifically the White Niles, near Lake Victoria, where the vast Sud Swamp presented many challenges to explorers, though later findings suggest that not Lake Victoria, but the nearby Kagera River is the true source. The Amazon's source was once considered to be the Marignan River, later the Aparimac, and most recently, the Mantaro. But similar to the Nile, defining the starting point is a contentious issue. This year, Brazilian explorer, writer, and environmentalist Yuri Sanada plans to launch a major expedition to traverse the Amazon, conducting measurements to determine the river's actual length. Whether the Amazon is the Earth's longest or second longest river, it stands out among rivers for one reason. It does not have a single bridge over it. Despite its waters dividing a significant part of Brazil, and many settlements being located along its banks, no such crossing has been constructed to date, with locals and travelers relying on water or air transport for crossing. The reason is simple. The area surrounding the river lacks developed infrastructure, making it currently impractical to connect bridges with roads, thereby diminishing their potential utility or economic benefit. A bridge has been built over one of the Amazon's tributaries, the Rio Negro, the Ponte Rio Negro, opened in 2011, which crosses the river before it merges with the Amazon. Spanning 2.2 miles between the cities of Manaus and Iranduba, it has been a beneficial development for the locals, facilitating easier travel from the small town of Iranduba and surrounding villages to the city of Manaus, home to two million people, and eliminating the need to pay for ferry services. In 2010, a local resident, Jandira Costa, told The Guardian that she eagerly anticipated the bridge's opening which would make travel faster and more comfortable. Although ferry transport between the banks and navigation along the river remained the norm for journeys in the Amazon environment. A few years ago, former Brazilian President Jair Messias Bolsonaro advocated for the development of the Amazon region, which included plans for a bridge in Pará State at Obidos, where the Amazon is narrowest. The project also entailed building a dam and extending the BR-163 highway. According to the former president and other government members, Improving infrastructure would help transform underutilized areas into economically thriving regions. Creating jobs and income for the 30 million people living in the Amazon's vicinity, 10 million of whom live below the poverty line. However, environmentalists fear that roads might pave the way for something else. The destruction of rainforests. 
In a 2005 statement, Greenpeace voiced opposition to the then-planned renovation of the muddy and impassable BR-163 highway, arguing that developing the 1,056 miles road would lead to further deforestation and the spread of endless soy plantations, at least if the government did not implement and enforce very strict measures. Similarly, the Ponte Rio Negro Bridge was found in a 2018 study to contribute to deforestation in the area. Surveys and simulations indicated that opening the bridge connecting the city to small communities and forests would increase the area of deforestation by 106%, mainly due to suburbanization, and the planned BR-319 highway would further facilitate these processes. Another factor hindering bridge construction over the Amazon is the significant fluctuation in the river's dimensions. While the river is generally 1.8 to 6.2 miles wide during the dry season from June to November, it can expand to as much as 34.2 miles in some places during the rainy season, with water depth also varying by meters. Significant amounts of sediment accumulate on the banks, and the soft soil does not favor construction. The previously mentioned issue of the lack of roads would make not only connecting a bridge to main roads challenging, but also the construction process itself. According to Philip Martin Fearnside, an American biologist working in Brazil, the bridge planned by Bolsonaro would incur costs far exceeding the economic benefits it could bring, as quoted by Live Science. Thus, it is unlikely that bridges will soon proliferate across the Amazon, but construction continues on its tributaries. In Peru, for example, the Nane Bridge crosses the Nane River, which, at 1.2 miles in length, is the country's longest bridge. The structure connects Bella Vista and Santa Tomas, as well as Iquitos, alleviating the city's isolation while also raising similar environmental concerns for the safety of the rainforest as other infrastructure developments in the Amazon Basin.